Hello everyone, welcome back to Crafting with Janine. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a faux leather dolly bow template, which in design in Cricut Design Space, I use Cricut, so that's how I do it. You can do this with Silhouette as well, but again, I don't know the Silhouette Studio, so Cricut Design Space is how I do them. You can do this one of two ways. You can do it to either cut your actual material out with your Cricut or you can use it to make your templates and cut templates like I do the same process is exactly the same so in previous videos I showed you how to upload and clean up a, an image and how to make SVG files so I will link those in the description below for you to go check those out I didn't want to bore you again with that since I've already shown you how to do that or how I like to do that, should I say. So I'm just going to jump in and show you how I do the bows. So this right here, uh, I think it's this one. One of them's a regular one, and one of them's an SVG file. We'll find out real quick. So I've already did, made my SGB file, which is this one. So I did pick the right one. So this is my SGB file, and how it'll come when you make it, like when you find your image, and that on... The internet will I'll open that up real quick and just show you how I search them out is my computer likes to be a little testy so I just search faux leather bow if I could spell correctly see right here faux leather bow template free and then I go to my images and then they pop up like this. The best ones are ones that are look like this. So when you highlight them, they pop up. And you just right click, save your image as. And then it goes to wherever you have it to save in that folder. And then you go and you do the steps to turn it into an SVG file. Super easy, super simple. And there's so many different designs. Like there's this one, there's that one. I mean, there's so many of them, and it's so easy, like a butterfly and that. So I'm going to show you the one that I have up on my screen. So I'm just going to close out this. So I've already have my SGB file. So how I like to do this is I will ungroup, because when you do it as, as an SGB, it's grouped. So if I try to, to do one individual thing, it's going to do it as the same. So I want to ungroup them. And then this little piece right here is meant for the center wrap. I don't cut that out with my machine because I cut my bows by hand and there's always so much leftover material that you can make your own little wrap around the center. So I just get rid of that one. So I start with the bow part and there's many different bow styles here like you saw in the last screen. So basically what I do is I don't mess with, I like my bows going up and down but in the first place because the way I cut them out. So I don't mess with the width at all and I leave my aspect ratio the same so that the proportions of your bow are going to be right. So all I do is change this. So I'm gonna change my height and I'm gonna do a six inch bow. So it's like that. And for this, without changing the, the width and the aspect ratio, how I get this to equal up to this is I'm gonna kinda look and I want, I'm going to show you real quick turning this white so that you can see it. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to set that, move it to the front. So I'm going to click on arrange and I'm going to send to the front for that one because I want it the front. So when I set this over the top, I want it to be a little bit more than half of the actual bow. Like, so... When you fold this side to this side and this side to this side, when you actually have your material and you have your bow, this is going to stick out from behind it. So how I do that to get my size right is I take it and to get it exactly right is I'm going to highlight everything or you can go up here to select all and I'm going to center it. So now it is centered and it's going to stick out on the other one. If I make it too big, then it's too big, then it's too small. I like to go a little bit more than half so if I change that to white you'll see how it sits because it'll show so here's the bow 
and then here's my outside. So I know that's going to be the backing for that one. So the same would work for if I, so when I want to make multiple sizes, I will come over here to duplicate and I will duplicate that. And we want to duplicate this because we want one size with that and stack them on top of each other. So then we're going to do this. So I'm going to change this one to seven. I keep my bows in uh, whole inches. It just, I get the sizes and I like them that way. So again, I'm going to send this. Now I'm going to move the, that. So we're going to arrange and send to front. So this is in front of the bow. And we're going to enlarge so that it looks like it's slightly more than half. So we're going to go again, select those two, since I can't select all. And I'm going to align, and I'm going to center it so that it's slightly more than half. So when I go to fold this bow, this is going to peek out just enough from behind it without being overly big. So so simple and easy to make these and there's so many possibilities if you're in my facebook group already then you know that i make i have cut and made a bunch of templates for people who do not have a cutting machine themselves and that offer is still available if you do not have your own machine to cut them but if you do and you have cricut i'm sure you could do the same basic idea with silhouette studio like I said again, I just use Cricut. So this is how I cut mine. I cut mine to be templates because I don't, I don't want to kill my blades by dulling them super fast with the material. The leather, not so much, but the glitter canvas tends to be harsh on your blade and it's going to dull your blades faster. So you're going to go through more blades. So that's why I prefer to cut templates because I have multiple different scissors and I have scissors for different things I'm kind of weird like that so I have one just to cut my glitter canvas because the scissors that they are so I hope you guys enjoyed this video it was pretty short and sweet but to the point so I'm gonna go ahead and save my project so since it's a new one I'm gonna save it to templates and I'm gonna save it as bow leather bow template yes with e just like that and i'm going to hit save so now that it's saved it's here and then everything over here so i could just close out and say quit cuz i'm done or cut it out whatever i want and then we're all good to go so again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. All the links will be in the description below and as always, happy crafting!